Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a customer that had a pine tree cut down. The customer's requesting to have some limbs from the tree removed. The customer already provided me pictures, told the customer I can come out and remove the tree limbs, but the actual tree logs is pending. We're just trying to discuss the price for that. We gotta rent out a log splitter so I have to charge the customer for the rental. I will also have to bill for the disposal fee of those logs, okay? So we'll see about that. This particular job, we may just be doing the actual tree limbs. So without further ado, I will see you guys at the customer's location. And most definitely important, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please be kind to hit the subscribe button. And definitely don't forget to hit the notification button so you'll be alerted next time we upload another content. See you guys when I get to the customer's location. Priority hauling, we have a tree waste removal. Got a big tree that was cut up here. So today we're gonna to begin to get this brush pile loaded up on a trailer. This, we'll try to get this all within this low. So we may have to cut some, some, some limbs up, but uh, we're gonna do our best to get it all in there. Again, this is Brent with Priority Hall and Junk Removal. Please contact us for your junk removal needs. Thank you. All right, guys, we're making progress. Cutting up some limbs. About to fire this bad boy back up again. Uh, cut these limbs up and i'll be back with you guys all right guys that's a quick update uh we knocked out a, a big pile here cleared up the walkway some everything's loaded up on the trailer so this is going to be uh two loads we had some pile over here and we moved it over swept up and cleaned up there so try to make the neighborhood happy but uh yeah Everything's in there. This is it. So we'll be back tomorrow to do some more work. Stay tuned. All right, guys. This is one of the locations that I'm dumping. This load, you do have to pay to dump, but I chose this location because it's closer. It saves me time and gas. Oops. So I end up uh, saving money. Anyway, up we go. I Got a lot of heavy weight. Good. So we're just gonna pull her and it's gonna go basically right there. Uh. So this is the low right here, pine. So now we just gotta pull it down 
and grab grab the other load I'm glad I actually stopped by this location because I was able to get an axe and also I was able to get uh, one of those um, log splitters so I got I got two of those um, well I got an axe and a log splitter so uh, it actually worked out perfectly fine worked out perfectly fine I don't know if that's poison ivy or not. Uh, let me see something. I want to get some gloves because I don't know if that's poison ivy or not. Yeah, just in case this might be a poison ivy vine. But uh, this is the load and we're good to go. So I'm going uh, to pack up and then I'll be uh, back with you guys for the next load. I don't have that much storage in my phone, so I can't, you know, record the whole process, but I just hope that you guys can stick with me. So I'll chit chat with you guys later. All right, guys, stay tuned. Peace. All right, guys, this is the second load. And she's a heavy one, too. A real heavy one. But not as heavy as the one that's coming up. How do we look at that, that, that log right there, this? Guys, that's it. Second big load. She's a done. Thank you. So we're just gonna uh, go grab some lunch, load the trailer up again with the third load, and uh, basically call it a wrap. As you can see here, everything is nice and clear. Uh, we got all of the stuff on the dump trailer here. So this is the remaining of the load here and everything's been nice and cleaned up. Uh, so it's just the logs. These logs will have to be uh, cut by a log splitter. So that tool will have to be uh, rented and then have the logs put on and split in half and then load up. But we are done for the day. We did our work, uh, which is clean up the pine from the top of the tree and basically cleared it up. Got a uh, walkway, as you can see. Before there wasn't a walkway, now there's a walkway. Turn this music down. Out the cam. Let me unmount it real quick so you guys can see. This is the place where I'm dropping this stuff off. Pretty cool, cool place. Everybody here is friendly, respectful. just you know just a peaceful uh peaceful place it's, it's honestly peaceful over here so a good place if you're trying to get material any type of material or well, if you need to bring material but you see that big brush pile over there that's what we're gonna dump at all right let me uh, stop by the office and uh, see how much my damage is for the day. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the final 
load, bunch of pine, bush, tree. I'm going to move it a little bit more closer, and then I'm going to lift it up. So that way when I drag it, everything goes. Gucci. So now, let me just check, make sure we got some good space. Yeah, we're good. Now we're gonna lift the bed up. Uh, let's see what we got. It's going up. Try to get it as, uh, high as I can get her. Alright. She's starting to slowly come down. about there let's go ahead and move the truck just gotta watch that for this big boy right here I don't want to truly block off it their area neither This is uh, here's our power right here of pine. It's a nice, juicy pile. That's some fresh pine right there. You can you can smell it. That's some some, some good fresh pine. And as you can see, the dump trailer is clear. It's clear. We definitely gotta clean that. Get up up underneath there. Cause I got a uh, I got another job to do after this i gotta get the soul trailer cleared up for that wine festival uh, it's basically just a trash haul we're just picking up some trash trash bags um it's supposed to be uh a budget for it, 30 trash bags but the guy said that he's he, he thinks it's not gonna be 30 trash bags he thinks it's gonna be less probably 10 but still i'm gonna get you know paid for what we originally agreed on all right, so that's that. She's good to go. Put that right there. Actually, no, I could just set that back over here. So yeah, this is it. Take a nice, good picture of that. Let me go ahead and get this other one. A lot. So yeah, guys, if you, if you are interested in doing junk removal, I uh, highly recommend that you you know s save as much money as you can for a dump trailer because it will save you so much time when it comes to un unloading stuff. Like just imagine unloading all that pine by hand. It's crazy. Looks like we're gonna be bringing a critter with us. But yeah, just uh, you know, try to try to budget yourself for a dump trailer. Let's say, for instance, you don't have the full money for purchase a dump trailer, but you could definitely just with a vehicle negotiate the price, uh, monthly payments, so that way it is affordable, and that way you're not paying too much you, you don't want to pay too much in, in interest so but that all goes based off of credit so make sure y'all get your credit 
uh, up to par. And an easy way to get your credit up to par is get yourself a credit card and uh, just use that credit card. Utilize it for uh, gas, uh, purchasing gas. That's what that's that, that's how I boost up my credit. It's just basically <laughs> just buying gas. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll be back with you guys. Done, done, done. We are done. So I'm going to basically grab some food for my kids and then I'm going to, sounds like somebody might be coming. Oh, that's the, so I think that's the highway. Yeah, that's the highway. So I'm gonna go grab some food for my kids to eat and then I'm going to uh, take this, uh, I think I'm gonna just take my truck and trailer home and just wash it from there. Uh, you know, power, power wash it, and then also do you use my foam cannon and wash it with uh, the foam cannon, both, you know, truck and trailer. And uh, inside-wise, probably just spray it down, get all this piling up, make it look nice and clean. But, you know, for the floors, yeah, yeah. I'll get to the floors. I just got to vacuum. I got to find, you know, which vacuum to use. I do have a vacuum cleaner, but it's like a, it's, it's like a shop vac. Okay. So I can, you know, just plug it up to an outlet and go from there. Um, let me see. Oh, I got a wheelbarrow on the back of the truck. So I got to get, I got to get that out of there. Uh, because for this, uh, next job, uh, this wine festival, um, I gotta have my truck clean and you know, my physical presentation has to be uh, clean cut too. So I'm gonna go get a haircut. There's something about yard waste that I just love to remove. You go from a big pile of bunch of yard waste that's just been sitting there in the yard to removing it and then you have this spacious land you can utilize, enjoy. Or it's just based on the fact that it's just fun cleaning stuff up. Just <laughs> tribute to it's it's fun cleaning stuff up. So you know I love what I do. Now some takeaways from this particular job. Probably the only true lesson learned um, from this particular job is eventually I need to upgrade my heavy duty equipment such as my chainsaws. I got some professional saws that I'm looking at purchasing eventually sometime next year. I'm not saying professional, but I would say more of an industrial chainsaw. They cut different from the saws that you get at Home Depot in Lowe's. So yeah, I'm definitely keeping my eyes open. In my area, we actually have a couple of, you know, I guess you could say moms and pops shops, which uh, offer heavy duty landscape equipment at a reasonable price. So I am scouting out those locations. The dump trailer was the greatest asset whenever you have these big landscape jobs, dump trailer makes it so much easier to offload our load. But anyway guys, um, I'm gonna wrap it up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and definitely don't forget to hit the notification button so that way you receive alert when the next time I upload a video content. I am Mr. Jones and this is Priority Holland. If you're in the Baltimore, Maryland area and you need junk removal service, please be sure to contact my business. Take care, guys. Peace.